Welcome everybody to the Paige Garrett channel. Make sure you subscribe. This is the final look that we're going to be working towards using drugstore makeup. Hi everybody. Wait, where's the backdrop? What happened to the backdrop? Wait a minute. I found it. Evie's laying on it. Oh well, we'll have to work without a backdrop. All right, beauty blender, squishy thing. Make sure it's wet. You're gonna use that with a little bit of the Physician's Formula Spotlight Primer. And you're gonna bounce that all over your face. This is supposed to be an illuminating primer to make you shiny and glowy. Now we're going to go in with our Makeup Revolution foundation in the color F5. It is a stick foundation. It is creamy though and fabulous. Look at me draw those lines on my forehead. Look at me go. All right, now we're going to go bounce some more. And now we're going to go in with our Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C6. All right, we're going to put a little bit on the chin, on the nose, under the eyes, on the forehead. And again, we're going to bounce. All right, now we're going to go in with a little Cody Airspun powder. And we are going to tap that into the lid. And we are going to powder all over just to kind of set everything and make it fabulous. Now we're going to go in with that bouncy thing. And we are going to... What do you call it? Cake it under the eyes? No, bake under the eyes, guys. And what I was showing there was make sure you put it in the lid so you use every last drop. All right, now we're going to go in with the Butter Bronzer Physician's Formula. That's a set you could get at Walmart for 12 buckaroos. There's our bronzing contouring brush, excuse me, and we're going to draw in those cheekbones because... God was not handing them out freely in the line that I was standing in that day. All right, we're going to go in with our normal foundation brush, the Y6, and we are going to blend. Oh, well, it comes with a lovely little perfume. It smells like coconut and vacation, so I'm going to use a little of that. All right, now we're going to go in with some ColourPop blush in the convenient color of blush. And we are going to add that on our little cheeky cheekies. Okay, now I'm going to swipe away the bake under my eyes. We're gonna go in with a little brow pencil from Benefit. I spend about two seconds on my brows. All right, now I'm gonna go in with some Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer. Because we wanna make sure that our eyeshadow sticks. All right, I'm gonna use this little set from Pure. My mom actually gave this to me for Christmas. And we're gonna start with this lovely little color. That color is called Secret and we are going to put that all over our eyelid to set it and get ready for the next color. And that next color is going to be Goals. We are going to work that in, oh, I'm sorry, Liar. It's liar, and we are going to put that over <laughs> both eyes. Oh, I'm fabulous. All right, now we're going to go in with this color called Hideaway, and we're going to put that in the corner of our eyes, small circles. Make sure you tap off the brush before you start. All right, now we're going to go into this color called Love Life. Oh, how exciting. And we're going to work that over the crease and over the lid. Then we're going to go in with the color Admire over the top of that because I just wanted to jazz it up a little bit. It wasn't sparkly enough for me, so I was going to add that to just give a little zhuzh. Now we're going to add a little white eye pencil into the waterline. You can use whatever brand you like. Just don't poke yourself in the eye. All right, now we're gonna use the Jane 
eyeliner and I'm going to attempt for the first time to draw a winged eyeliner. Yes, I chose to try on my YouTube channel and not practice first because that's intelligent. And in this moment, it went bad. It went very, very bad. All right, so I'm regretting my decisions. I'm heavily regretting my decisions at this moment. But I had to just go with it. And um, then I tried to fix what I messed up with a little bit of concealer. And then that didn't go so well, so I just cleaned off the wing and put in the concealer and reset it with some powder. Because clearly today was not the day to learn how to do a wing. All right, so I had to go back and add some of that eyeshadow back because I cleaned it off. But you know, it is what it is. You live, you learn. Breathing and relaxing. And we're starting. Yes, we're good. We're gathered. Here we go. All right. We're going to curl those hair, those hairs on my eyes, known as eyelashes. And we are going to put some telescopic mascara on those beauties. All right. I think I look pretty sexy. All right. Now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of that first color secret to the brow bone. And we're gonna go in with my favorite, the Master Chrome Highlighter. And I'm gonna glow to the gods. You can use any highlighting brush that you may have. Kapow pow! Those are the beauty punches. Now we're gonna add the red lip, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go in with the Revlon Lip pencil in the color red. That was very imaginative, imaginative Revlon. Now we're gonna go in with some red lipstick from Milani in the color velvet something, cause I can't read it at the moment. And we're gonna make those lips red and luscious and fabulous. All right, just checking to make sure it all looks good. Oh, you're cute. All right, here we are, ta-da, and we're done. Oh, wait, I forgot something. I always forget something. Setting spray from Pixie. This one is the glow tonic that makes you look dewy and fresh. And, oh, my nose is running. Okay, and we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Mwah! This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope there was some comedic entertainment. And we will see you with the next video. Bye, guys.